Episode 1 Ohapo Container House David Wade, in collaboration with the contractor All Aspects Construction, created the Ohapo Container House in 2017. The industrial design of the house was inspired by a project in northern Maine, United States, called the Audrians House, by American architect Adam Culkin. The house sits on a 1.53-acre lot and is surrounded by the countryside of the town of Ohapo in the Waikato region of New Zealand. It has 3,445 square feet built, and it is almost impossible to say that it was built from containers, although you can distinguish them in the large living room. The container house is located in the Golden Triangle of Hamilton Cambridge Te Awamotu. A few minutes from St. Peter's School, Hamilton Airport, Waikato Hospital, and Ohapo Tree Church and Gardens. A picturesque rural outlook, with an appropriate orientation to the north, being the southern hemisphere, has provided the perfect platform for the main house, and an elegant cottage. For the construction of the main house, 12 standard type 20-foot shipping containers were reused. Each one weighing 5,114.7 pounds, 19.7 feet long, 8.2 feet wide, and 8.5 feet high. In Ohapo, during the months of January, February, March, April, November, and December, you are more likely to experience good weather, with pleasant average temperatures, ranging between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The warmest month is February with an average maximum temperature of 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, the coldest month is July with an average maximum temperature of 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit. On average, June is the wettest month and December is the least humid month. The average annual percentage of humidity is 85%, and January is the sunniest month. During the planning phase of the project, the following activities were carried out, among others. Identification of needs. It was determined if the building would have sustainable elements. Identification and consultation of the local construction regulations. Conceptualization of the project. Choice of land. Selection of shipping containers. Identification of the required professional services. Organization of construction. Location of suppliers. Determination of the maximum budget, etc. Regarding the design phase, the most relevant activities were The simulation of the possible dispositions of the containers Definition of the main envelope Realization of the project reports, plans, and documentation Development of the construction strategy, specification of materials, and services Preparation of the purchasing strategy, the final budget, etc. As mentioned before, a very important item in the design phase is the development of an adequate construction strategy. It is at this point where it was determined that the construction of the access roads would be the first objective to be achieved, followed by the construction of the garage, the cottage, and finally, the construction of the container house would be carried out. The execution phase of the project began with the cleaning, compaction, and improvement of the selected land. Next, the layout and preparation of the chosen section of the land was carried out to create the paths made with compacted gravel to access the house and the cottage. Six cargo containers, 20 feet each, arrived, which would serve as a warehouse for furniture, materials, and tools during the execution of the project. The lot was cleaned, compacted, and improved for the construction of the garage slab. A study of soil mechanics was recommended since it yielded valuable information for the design and the structural calculation. Among the main items obtained, we have 
The bearing capacity of the soil, the depth of the different strata, the types of materials per stratum, the recommendations of the most suitable foundation for the project, etc. The layout and preparation of the selected section of the lot was carried out to create the foundation of the cottage. The piles or wooden posts were placed. These are part of the structure, the raised base, the foundation of the cottage, and the terrace. The base of the floor was formed with plywood plates, and the necessary scaffolding was installed, for the positioning of the modular wooden structures, which formed the walls. Scaffolding was also used in the construction of the gable roof truss. Simultaneously, the cleaning, compaction and preparation of the ground of the garage foundation slab were carried out. The cottage already has a roof, gabled and this has been covered with corrugated metal sheets in ebony color. The type of foundation depends especially on the mechanical characteristics of the ground, such as its cohesion, its internal friction angle, the position of the water table, and also on the magnitude of the existing loads. The type of foundation selected for the garage and for the container house was the foundation slab. This structural element consists of a concrete plate supported on the ground, which distributes the weight, and the loads of the building over the entire support surface. It has very good behavior in not very homogeneous soils, which with other types of foundations could suffer differential settlements. Also, it is used in land with very little bearing capacity. The image shows the placement of the shade foundation for the garage slab. With the help of wooden planks, its level and its thickness were determined. Assembling the slab shade foundation with steel rods, which complied with the specifications of the structural design, previously carried out. Pouring of concrete. It is advisable to use a concrete vibrator, as it reduces air bubbles, helping to accommodate the concrete. In addition to improving its resistance and its finish. The pores have been closed, and the foundation slab has been finished. Outside, the cottage insulation consists of a permeable, easy-to-install building envelope. This is a non-perforated, non-woven, absorbent membrane with exclusive technology, which reduces the penetration of vapor generated by solar radiation and offers protection against the effects of bad weather. Note the arrival and unloading of the 12 20-foot maritime containers, standard type, which served as part of the metallic structure of the container house. Fiber cement slats were installed on the walls to achieve the exterior cladding. The sanitary system of the cottage has a septic tank. Once the simple foundation slab was finished for the construction of the garage, a light metallic structural system was chosen, and for the configuration of its walls and roof, corrugated metallic sheets in ebony color were used. The garage also served to store some materials and tools during construction. Inside the cottage, thermal acoustic insulation panels were installed, both on the walls and on the ceiling. In addition, the ceiling was lined with wood, and the walls with laminated drywall. The third objective of the project has been achieved. The cottage is finished. This one has a rustic style in ebony color. Observe in the front facade, the three folding glass doors, and an attractive wooden terrace. It consists of living room, kitchenette, two bedrooms, and two bathrooms. Aerial view of the project's progress. In the image you can see the access roads, the garage, and the cottage, already finished. As well as the 12 cargo containers, which are part of the structure of the container house, and the 6 remaining containers that served as temporary storage. The fourth objective of the project, the construction of the container house, was initiated with the cleaning, compaction, and improvement of the lot. Subsequently, the marking and preparation of the selected section of the land was carried out for the construction of the house. Regarding the foundations, so that the slabs had an adequate embankment, continuous footings were built, on which the lightened walls were raised, with bearing cement blocks. Already with a compacted and adequate surface of the ground, the line was made for the excavation of the footing trenches. The pertinent excavations were carried out, with their corresponding adjustments, and work began with the steel. At the same time, they also began the work to modify the containers. The door and window openings were made, as well as the respective reinforcement with steel profiles. A double steel staircase was purchased and loaded onto a trailer to be transported to the site. 
The steel preparation work continued, where the reinforcements that confined vertically to the walls were anchored in the continuous footings of the lightened wall. Once the steel reinforcement work was finished, the concrete was poured into the trenches for the footings, and the appropriate time was waited to obtain a correct setting of the mixture. You can see the views of the footings, with the concrete already set, from different perspectives of some of the sectors, of the ground floor of the container house. A good example of the different perspectives, is the panoramic image of the elevation of the entire site from the entrance. The continuous footings were the basis for building the lightened walls for the embankment. Currently, Salvador Solis Rizzo is executing a project on the application of cargitecture to affordable and sustainable living spaces through the video channel on YouTube, Casa Container Door, La Alternativa. In addition, he has the board, container house, architecture with containers, cargitecture, on Pinterest. You can also follow him on his author page on Amazon. The electronic address of each of the mentioned sites appears on the screen. For any questions or comments, please contact him at casacontainerdoor at yahoo.com. Thank you.